We're here! <laughs> Welcome to Grumpy Rabbit's Dinosaur Park! Ooh. Are there really dinosaurs here? No, just pretend ones. For you. Real dinosaurs died out 65 million years ago. Edmund knows a lot about dinosaurs. He is a clever clogs. But we've got better than real dinosaurs. We've got singing dinosaurs. We are the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs. We are the dinosaurs. Listen to us. <laughs> They're a bit small. Yes. Aren't dinosaurs meant to be big? Ah, oh, yes. We do have a big dinosaur, a real whopper. Uh, would you like to meet it? Yes, please. These are its footprints. We just have to follow them. Ooh. These footprints look very real. Are you sure there's no living dinosaurs about, Grumpy Rabbit? Uh, quite sure, Daddy Pig. Over the boulders, everyone! <laughs> Across the bridge! <laughs> Through the cave! <laughs> oh, the footprints have stopped. Look! There are some green steps. It's a big slide! Whee! Pedro has counted to four. Well done, Pedro. Can anyone count higher than four? Me, me, me. Rebecca. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rebecca has counted to seven. Excellent, Rebecca. Madam Gazelle. Yes, Candy? My mum can count to ten. Wow. Yes, after seven, there is eight, nine, ten. Eight, nine, ten. Very good. It is playtime. <laughs> Rebecca Rabbit, Zoe Zebra, Susie Sheep and Pepper all like to skip. I like sand. I like sea. I like Susie to skip with me. <laughs> <laughs> I like Ping. I like Pong. I like Zoe to skip along. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Let's see who can skip the most without stopping. Squeak! I'll count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Zoe wins. Hooray! 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 Nay. <laughs> Petro, do you want to do some skipping? No, thanks, Pepper. I'm hula hooping. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble, wiggle waggle wee. Hula hoop, hula hoop. One, two, three. Ooh. How many can you do without stopping? A million and three. Wow. That's a lot. This is our campsite. Breathe in the wonderful fresh air, children. <gasps> Excellent breathing. Now let's put up our tents. Peppa and her friends are putting up their tents. <laughs> children, you must each find a partner to share your tent. Susie, shall we share a tent? <laughs> I said I'd share with Zoe. Oh, sorry, Susie. I said I'd share with Rebecca. Rebecca, you said you'd share with me. Oh, yes. <laughs> Emily, who are you going to share a tent with? Um, Zoe. Okay, good. 
Now you can share with me. OK. <laughs> <laughs> now I need sticks to make a campfire. We'll get sticks. But me and Pedro want to get sticks. Ha-ha, you can all collect <laughs> sticks. <laughs> Peppa and her friends collect sticks for the campfire. <laughs> Wonderful! It is night time. Peppa and her friends are sitting around the campfire. Children, let's all sing a song. Yes! yes. The Bing Bong song, please. Oh, I'm not sure. Please, please Madam, Madam Gazelle, sing, sing the, the Bing, Bing Bong, Bong song. song. All right. Ooh, we're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. Bong, bing, boo. Bing, bong, bing. Bing, bong, bing, bong, bong, bing, boo. Now, children, time for bed. <laughs> yes, Daddy Pig is doing the map reading, and he's a bit grumpy at the moment. I am not grumpy. Ho, 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 ho. This is the best route. Uh, keep on the main road until you see Windy Castle up ahead. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. We follow the main road and look out for Windy Castle. As I thought. <laughs> Look, is that a castle? Yes, it's Windy Castle. Come on, car. Go on, car, you can make it. Hooray! Hooray! Peppa and her family have arrived at Windy Castle. Wow, it's so tall. <laughs> Let's go inside. The view from the top is fantastic. <laughs> Look at the view. Mummy, is that Granny and Grandpa's house? Yes, it is. It's so far away. Let's take a look through the telescope. Can I look first, please? Yes, but you must let George look next. Wow! The telescope makes everything look bigger. I can see Granny and Grandpa. Look, George. <laughs> Granny Ig, Papa Ig. George is waving at Granny and Grandpa. Silly George. <laughs> Granny and Grandpa are too far away to see you waving. I know. We can ring them. Hello? Grandpa Pig, we can see you from Windy Castle. Wave at us. Granny and Grandpa are waving at us. <laughs> I love Windy Castle. <laughs> Where are the ducks? Maybe they're on holiday. Let's have our picnic lunch. <laughs> the ducks always turn up when, when we have picnics. <laughs> Peppa and George love picnics. <laughs> Look, it's the ducks. <laughs> Stop, Daddy. We need bread for the ducks. <laughs> All right. Hello, Mrs. Duck. Here come more ducks. All their brothers and sisters are here. <laughs> and here come more ducks. It's the Granny and Grandpa Ducks. And here are all the aunties and uncles. <laughs> oh, oh, that's the last of our picnic gone. Ducks, say thank you to Daddy Pig. <laughs> ho, ho, you're most welcome. <laughs> I love Duckland. <laughs> it is time to go home. I wonder what's the shortest way home. Drive straight ahead. Into the river. Oh, are you sure? Yes, drive into the river. But we can't drive in the river. Yes, it's talking nonsense. Please press the blue button. The camper van is driving into the river. <laughs> <laughs> Our camper van has turned into a boat. I wasn't quite expecting that. 
Welcome to the car of the future. Look, it's Grandad Dog and Danny Dog. Ahoy there, Daddy Pig! Uh, ahoy there! I love muddy puddles. <laughs> Peppa, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. Sorry, Mummy. <laughs> George likes to jump in muddy puddles too. George, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. Peppa likes to look after her little brother, George. <laughs> <laughs> George, let's find some more puddles. <laughs> Peppa and George are having a lot of fun. Peppa has found a little puddle. George has found a big puddle. <laughs> Big puddle. George wants to jump into the big puddle first. Stop, George. I must check if it's safe for you. Good. It is safe for you. <laughs> Sorry, George. It's only bad. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George love jumping in muddy puddles. Oh, where's Daddy? He's bringing a secret surprise. Beep, beep. Beep. What's that? It's a camper van. We've borrowed it for our holiday. Ooh. This camper van has everything. This button works the sink. Wow! And this button works the TV. <laughs> what does this button do? I'm not sure. Maybe don't press it until we know. Is everybody ready to go on holiday? Yes, yes Mummy Pig! Then let's go! <laughs> hmm, this map is a bit tricky. Daddy, we don't want to get lost. Don't worry, Peppa. I'm an expert at map reading. Oh, that's strange. Are we lost? Uh, yes. It's Grandad Dog with Danny Dog. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, Danny. We're lost. <laughs> lost? Is your sat-nav broken? Sat-nav? You're driving a camper van T3200. Sat-nav comes as standard. Welcome to the car of the future. Ah, so that's what that button does. Where are we going today? The camper van is talking. Clever, isn't it? The computer voice helps you find your way. But how does it know where we want to go? You tell it. Uh, hello, Mrs Camper Van. Hello. We're going on holiday. Can you tell us the way? Proceed on the current road in a straight line. Thanks for your help, Grandad Dog. You're welcome. Have a lovely holiday. There is one red car, Pepper. Where? Oh, <laughs> what colour is our car? Uh, it's red. I win, I win. 
<laughs> the family have arrived at the mountains. We'll have a fantastic view when we get to the top. We're here. Hooray! Look at the lovely sunny view. Ah! Oh dear, it has started to rain. Where's the lovely view? Uh, there's a lovely view. It is Miss Rabbit's ice cream store. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Daddy Pig. Four ice creams, please. What flavours would you like? Mint, orange, strawberry and blueberry, please. OK. <laughs> Look what I've got. Ice cream! <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're our favourite colours. That's right. Green for me. Orange for me. Strawberry red for me. And George's is... Boo! <laughs> <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Yum. Look, the sun has come out. And look what else has come out. A rainbow! Peppa and George love rainbows. A rainbow only comes out when it's rainy and sunny at the same time. It's got all our favourite colours in it. Yes. Red and orange and green and blue. <laughs> <laughs> and do you know what you find at the end of a rainbow? No. You find treasure. Oh, can we go find the treasure now? OK. The end of the rainbow looks like it's just on the next hill. Let's go. We'll see birds and trees and flowers and bees. <laughs> Dinosaur. No, George. I don't think we'll see any dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> this is the start of the nature trail. We're here. Hooray! <laughs> Daddy Pig, don't forget the picnic. <laughs> As if I would. Daddy, how do we know which way to go? Easy. The map says... There should be a sign showing the start of the nature trail here. Well done, Daddy Pig. <laughs> oh, dear. Daddy Pig has forgotten the picnic. Peppa, what interesting things can you see? Just trees and trees and more boring trees. <laughs> Peppa, you're not looking hard enough. All right. I'll look really hard and I still won't see anything. Oh, what's that? Peppa has found some footprints. Whose footprints are these? Dinosaur! Oh, George, they're not dinosaur footprints. Let's follow the footprints and see who made them. Yes! <laughs> Shh! We have to be very quiet so we don't scare anything away. Yes, Mummy. George. Shh! <laughs> Peppa and George are following the footprints. Look! The footprints were made by a little bird. She's flown into a tree. Where? Here, Peppa. Look through the binoculars. The binoculars make everything look bigger. I can see one, two, three baby birds. Ah! Oh, I wonder what they're eating. Yeah, They're eating worms! That's disgusting! <laughs> <laughs> George has found more footprints. Ooh, what little foot... Today I'm going to make apple and blackberry crumble. Yummy! I need you brave explorers to go and get the fruit. Aye, aye, aye Granny Pig! Pig. We've got baskets for the apples. And buckets for the blackberries. First, the easy bit, picking apples. On the count of three, shake the tree. One, One two, two, three! three. <laughs> now for the blackberries. Why don't we just have apple crumble? Because blackberries are tasty too, Grandpa. OK, now the hard bit. Now that's what I call a blackberry bush. This bush has been here since I was a little piggy. It's an overgrown weed. I should have cut it down years ago. Grandpa, why don't you like it? 
I don't like the way it looks at me. Silly Grandpa, it's just a harmless bush. And it's covered in lovely blackberries. George has seen some really big, juicy blackberries. Mm. Careful, George, or you might get tangled. <laughs> I have a stick for picking hard to reach blackberries. <laughs> Clever, Grandpa. But the best blackberries are right at the very top. That's why I've brought the ladder. Um, don't lean too far over, Mummy Pig. Don't worry. I've been climbing this blackberry bush since I was a little girl. Yes, but you're not a little girl now. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, dear. Mummy Pig has fallen into the blackberry bush. Mummy, can you get out? Uh, no. I'm stuck. You're stuck in a thorny bush like Sleeping Beauty. What? Once upon a time, there was a princess called Sleeping Beauty. One day, she fell asleep in a thorny bush and she stayed there for a hundred years. Yes, that's a nice story, Peppa. <laughs> Peppa is trying to run away from her shadow. Oh, it's still there. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Susie. We're trying to run away from our shadows. No one can run away from their shadow. Oh. You need to use a scooter. Whee! Susie is trying to ride away from her shadow. See? But your shadow is still there. Oh! Hello, everyone. Here is Mr Elephant with Emily and Edmund. Hello. <coughs> We're trying to run away from our shadows. You can never run away from your shadow. I know. We can't go fast enough. No, Susie. It's nothing to do with how fast you run. You see? My shadow is still underneath me. Run faster! Even if I run faster, my shadow keeps up with me. Daddy, your shadow is too big. It's slowing you down. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that, Emily. Your shadow always stays with you. Why? When something gets in the way of the sun, it makes a shadow like this. Oh. oh. I have the biggest shadow because I'm the biggest. And George and I have the smallest shadows because we are the smallest. Very clever, Edmund. I'm a clever clogs. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> Whose shadow is that? That's the biggest shadow ever. It must be a giant. <laughs> it's not a giant. The shadow is being made by a cloud. Wow! What sort of cloud is... Can George and me come too? Please? <coughs> OK. Just this once. Put your coats and boots on. <laughs> Pepper and George are wearing their coats and boots over their pyjamas. You carry the bucket, Pepper, and I'll hold the torch. Don't stay out too late, Grandpa Pig. OK, okay Granny Pig. Pig. <laughs> we'll put all the slugs and snails in the bucket. Ah, one little snail. Two little snails. <laughs> and a slug. Ugh. Slugs are yucky. <laughs> Here are Grandpa Pig's chickens. Sarah, Jemima, Vanessa and Neville. Hello, chickens. I need to put the chickens to bed. Night-night, chickens. Night-night, chickens. Night-night. Why aren't the slugs and snails in bed, Grandpa? Because they're up all night eating my vegetables. Some animals eat in the daytime, like my chickens, and some animals eat at night, like, oh, Mr Fox. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Putting your chickens to bed, are you? Oh, yes. Nice and cosy in the hen house. Jolly good. Well, I'll be on my way. Good night. Good, good night. night. Now, as I was saying, 
Some animals eat at night, like... <laughs> oh, hello. Grandpa, there's a little animal in your bucket. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes, it's a hedgehog. They like to eat slugs and snails. Hello, hedgehog. <coughs> oh, he's rolled into a ball. Yes, Peppa. He is very shy. Come out, Mr Hedgehog. Don't be scared. There isn't any sand on this beach, Peppa. No sand? But we wanted to make sand castles. Peppa and George love making sand castles. <coughs> no, no, George. Don't be upset. <coughs> there are lots of exciting things to do on this rocky beach. Like what? When the sea goes out, it leaves little pools of water in amongst the rocks. They're called rock pools. And in every rock pool, there's something special that the sea has left behind. Ooh, I can see something glittering. It's a coin. Wow. Maybe it's a pirate's treasure. Ooh. Let's make a collection of all the things we find. Yes, we'll put them in George's bucket. <laughs> <laughs> What surprise is waiting in this pool? There's nothing special in this one. Ho, 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 ho! There's always something, Peppa. Look closer. Ooh, there is something. Yes, it's a crab. Ah! The crab is pinching Grandpa Pig's finger. Oh! Ouch! Naughty Mr Crab. <laughs> Look, George. Mr. Crab is walking sideways. <laughs> George is pretending to be a crab. <laughs> Pepper wants to be a crab, too. We're naughty crabs. Pinch, pinch, pinch. <laughs> pinch, pinch, pinch. Help! There are two naughty crabs trying to pinch me. Pinch, pinch, pinch. We're naughty crabs. Pinch, pinch, pinch. <laughs> George, this is the tent I had when I was a little boy. Daddy, how are you going to make that into a tent? Don't worry, Peppa. I'm an expert at camping. <laughs> Mummy Pig, put the tent on the poles, please. That's it. Easy as pie. Ooh. Do these pegs do anything? Of course. I forgot about the pegs. The pegs hold the tent up. There. The tent is a bit little. It was big enough for me when I was a boy, but it does look a bit small now. That's because you've grown a bit since you were a boy, Daddy Pig. And your tummy has grown the most of all. <laughs> oh, talking of tummies, we should cook supper. Yes, yes. <laughs> First, we have to collect sticks to make a fire. Yippee! Pepper and George are helping Daddy Pig collect sticks for the campfire. George, I'll pick up the sticks and you can carry them. <laughs> Collecting sticks is fun. <laughs> Good. That's enough sticks. That's a splendid campfire. Now I'll light it. Here are the matches. Oh, oh we don't need matches. Daddy, how can you light it without matches? I'm going to make fire the old way by simply rubbing these two sticks together. Daddy Pig is rubbing the two sticks together to light the campfire. Where is the fire, Daddy? Nearly there. Hooray! Oh, easy as pie. <laughs> <laughs> now we can heat up the tomato soup. Ah, listen to the sounds of nature. What is that sound? That is the sound of crickets chirping. What is that? That's an owl. Look, there it is. Wow!